Hello, in this uh, small tutorial uh, multi for multi-sim, I'm going to show you how to build uh, this circuit. This is just an image I'm getting from uh, a Word document, and I put it here so that I know I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to build something like this. So I'm going to delete it first because I used that with my students earlier. And now I have something like this on my assignment. So suppose you have this on your assignment, and you're going to uh, build the circuit. First of all, you're going to go to place here, component, and then here under group, you're going to look for sources. So you see you have all group, diodes, etc. You're going to click on sources. Under sources, because I need these uh, power sources, the 20 volt and the 15 volt and the 4 amp. And their sources, I go to power sources. I go to DC power, DC power, and I click OK. Once I click OK, it's going to basically uh, stick with the mouse. And it comes here. As soon as I click on the surface, it's going to stick there. And then my window that I grab devices from is going to pop again. Click, pop. Now I need another one, so I just do OK. Click, pop. I need the 4 amp source, so I go to here on the left side. I go to signal current sources, and I select DC current. DC current, this one. Looks like the one you have here. So, OK, and I bring it here, OK, let me move this one. Every time you want to move something, you just click on it and move it. Now I have all my three sources. I need the ground. The ground is part of power sources. So you go to power sources and you click on ground. You make sure that you have the right picture here. You don't want this one, you want this one, ground, bring it here. Next, I need a bunch of resistors. So I have uh, here under group, you go to basic and you select resistor. And then you can grab any, any resistor because we can change the values later. And by the way, I need to change these values. So we'll, we'll change the values later. Okay. And I have R1. And it says R1. I need to, this to be R1. So I can keep doing this, OK, OK, and then I have R2. Or I can just copy and paste, copy and paste. So let me just do it this way. R3, R4, R5, R6. I got everything. Let me move this one up. Now I have everything, so I just close this. I go here, say close, or I can close from here. Same thing. Now I need to rotate these two, R2 and R4. Right click, so select, right click, rotate. Select, not this. I don't want to select only R4. Select the whole thing. Select, right click, rotate. Look at the uh, 4 amp source. It's looking down. The arrow has to go down. This is up. So what I do, select, right click, flip vertically. Or you can do rotate, then rotate. It doesn't matter. Now, uh, this one, you see here, is minus in the top, the little plate in the top, the big plate, the plus in the bottom. So it's, this is upside down. So I do the same. Select, right click, flip vertically. Now, I want to change the values. I have 20 volts here, so this is 12. I double click on it, and this pops up. And then instead of label, it's called V1, I'll keep it, it doesn't matter. Display, it tells you what to display. The value here, it says 12 volts. I'm going to change that to 20. And then... Okay, now I have 20. 
How about R1? R1 is 10 ohm. So I double click. It says 1K, 1 kilo ohm. I'm going to remove this whole thing and put 10. 10 what? Ohm. Okay. This is 20. This is 12. This is 15. This is 10. And this is 15. What else? The source, the current source is 4 amp. Double click, call it to uh, current one. It's 1 amp, I put 4. This is 15, not 12. Double click, 15. Okay, I have all my values. You don't have to do it in the same order I did. You can uh, change the values, then uh, rotate them and all that. It doesn't matter. So now to connect them, I need to put the cables connecting each element to the other. When I just hover my mouse here, you see how it comes to the edge and it shows a dot with a cross. So that dot with the crosshairs here, you just click move and then click. That makes a connection. Oh, click, sorry. So click move the route you want to move and then click at the other edge where you see the cross happening. So cross, click, move, cross, click. Okay, cross here, move, click, move, click. You will know when you've connected. You can't make it wrong. I cannot come here and do this. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I have to connect. Okay, I do the same here. So I go all the way here and click. And I connect these guys. You can move a device or a piece like this one. I can move this. Uh, no, let me see. I can move this here or this whole thing here. I can make it shorter. Okay. I can, this 15 arm is a little down. Doesn't matter. I just, I'm just uh, paranoid. I want to make it exactly in the middle. So I can do that. I can fix, I can move things, but without affecting the connections. Now the next step is to call these nodes A, B, C, D, etc. So I come here, double click. Well, it doesn't happen in the corner. So you click on one edge, this uh, one side, this branch or this branch are the same. I'm going to call this E, like this said, E. And then I have to click on show net name. Okay, so now I have the E here, I can move it. I do the same with this. So I click on this one and I call this one A. Show net name. Okay, so now this is this looks exactly like what I had before. I can just remove this or keep it. It doesn't matter. It's not going to affect your simulation. So in the simulation, we're going to do a DC operating point and uh, you go to simulate analysis and uh, simulation. And now on the left menu, you have all these things, AC sweep, interactive, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, DC operating point. This is what I want. Uh, let me see. These were here before, so let me just remove them. Uh, remove. Well, remove doesn't mean delete. It goes back to all variables. Here we have all variables. If I want all the current and all the voltages, I have all the currents here. When it says I of V1, that is the current that flows in V1. So I add. So I'm just clicking and dragging. And these are the voltages that the nodes add. And then finally I hit run. And that gives me the simulation. If you want to have a um, 
white background you just go here black background white background this portion here I hope you can see the mouse if not this is what I'm talking about and then you click on it so it gives you this you can also uh, export to Excel okay and that gives you an Excel sheet and then you can take it um, now this circuit you can copy it by clicking dragging to select everything you have everything selected right click copy and then you can go to a document and then just uh, paste control V and now I have it okay I can do the same for this one as I said you can export it to Excel or you can use a snipping tool go to your uh, computer and look for snip and that's it for today